Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So today we have the Chicken Festival. And we've got quite a few Ten Heart Chickens. Oh. And we also have the pumpkins to harvest. And I think you're going to appreciate what's going on with them. Anyway, so the Chicken Festival. Right, we have... A few ten, uh, ten heart chickens, you are going to want to pick the youngest ten heart chicken because animals do die of old age in Harvest Moon games. And so, yeah, five star pumpkins, by the way. Just saying. We are going to turn all of these into seeds. Again, we want to have some backup seeds. Now, supposedly, having a chicken over six hearts doesn't really make any difference. A six heart chicken is just as good as a ten heart chicken and whatnot. But I'm not entirely sure that's the case. Because I have seen certain animals be faster than other animals, and I think that's tied to their heart level. So even, and and also for the little heart thing to, I'll, I'll, I'll show you when, when the fest, when the chicken festival starts. But anyway, um, yeah, so they stay in the fast speed portion longer and they are faster overall at least that's what I have seen is that some animals seem to do that and I think that's tied to the heart level hey three star corn nice but I can't be absolutely certain of that that's just what I I'm pretty sure is the case so I'm gonna want to be using the youngest ten heart chicken that we have which is also the youngest six heart chicken that we have so it doesn't really make a difference this festival. I'm, I was going to choose Lugia either way. Anyway, so after the chicken festival, if we win it, then we're going to be wanting to try and get some gold eggs from uh, um, from Lugia. Before we go any further, I would like to remind you to do that whole YouTube algorithm thing everybody's always bragging about. The like and the subscribe in, and uh, let me know what your favorite tea is down below. Uh, it really does help me out, and it does... Uh, help my videos to show up in your inbox more consistently. So please do not forget to do that. And perfect. Yes. No new high score, though. Today's the chicken festival! Are you entering? Great! Choose an animal! Okay, so Lugia is the youngest chicken that we have max friendship with. So we're going to go ahead and choose Lugia. And hopefully Lugia will win. There's always a possibility that we will lose. And it's actually much higher than you'd want for having to redo the festival in three years. But uh, there is a very good chance that we will win. It's just not guaranteed. Are the contestants! Number one, Ray! Number two, Rosa! Number three, Akela. Let's take a look at the animals. So all of them are going to be starting out at a high speed. Which actually is probably good because it's less chance that we'll get... Um, we'll lose due to random chance. The rules today are very simple. The animal that reaches its owner first is the winner! We're testing the strength of your bond! It's a battle of love! Now let's get this chicken festival started! All right. There's really nothing we can do. We can't, like, mash the A button or anything like that. And see, our chicken is faster than their chickens, even though they all started with hearts. And our heart lasted longer. So, I don't know. Yes! Number one! No dash powers needed! Bravo! The results are third place, Akela! Second place, Rosa! And the winner is... Ray! Congratulations! Now how about that? Next year's Livestock Festival is the Sheep Festival! Make sure to start forging those bonds with your sheep! I'm going to be looking forward to it! So now, oh, that's right, you also get a prize. You also get, it was your prize for winning! 
or a calcum. Congratulations again! Each uh, each animal festival, you get a different prize for winning. Oh, how nice! Thank you, Ray. So yes, each animal festival you get a different prize for winning. Chicken is or calcum. I think sheep is mithril, and cow is adamantite, which is used to make uh these hold on these charms. See down down below here, you got held, equip, and charm. Well, charms are made with adamantite and uh, some metal, some other metal and uh, gems. So if your animal wins, it has a chance of producing an exceptional product that it normally that normally produces. It's a chance. It's not every day, but a chicken will have a golden egg. A cow will produce uh, golden milk. Sheep will sometimes produce great wool, and uh, these great versions of the of these of the animal products are worth a lot. They're very valuable. Um, and also, I did mention near the start of the series that doing things like turning eggs into mayonnaise and uh, um, milk into cheese would actually reduce their value. And so you'd want to do things like herb mayonnaise, herb cheese, that sort of stuff. Well, for golden products, that's not the case. Great mayonnaise is worth something like 400G more than a golden egg at, at the five-star level, which more than pays for the oil. You get uh, quite a bit of extra profit on that. And so it's a good idea to turn those, to turn those uh, um, golden products into their processed versions. One other point is that you may be tempted to enter in your base chickens and your base sheep instead of your instead of your Sylphikis and Suffolks and your base cows instead of jerseys. Because you think about it, if you get a golden egg either way, then it's you know, it's just better to enter in a regular chicken rather than a silky because you gain more profit from that. But the problem with that is that Silkies and Suffolks and Jerseys are more likely to produce the golden product after after winning a festival. So you're still better off entering in your Silky chickens, your Suffolk sheep, and your Jersey cows, provided they are at max friendship. Don't be trying to enter in with the, you know, in your third year with a with a Suffolk sheep that you've, that you're at, what, what would it be, like, three hearts with? No. You're probably not going to win. Uh, we don't need to fertilize these uh, pumpkins anymore because they will produce five-star pumpkins. And uh, we'll turn those into pumpkin seeds. And those will be five-star. And they'll just keep producing five-star produce. Um, if I remember correctly, you can enter in an animal that's already won a particular festival. So if a cow's won a cow festival, you can enter it again three years later, and it will be more likely to produce the golden uh, produce item if it wins again. However, I don't necessarily think that's a good idea. As I said before, you want to enter in the youngest animal that that has max friendship. And that way you have the longest time getting golden products from that animal before it dies of old age. While we have some time, I thought I would remind you that if you are watching this within about an hour and a half to two hours of it going live, that means I'm currently streaming the recording of the next episode over on the streaming channel, and I would appreciate it if you would stop in and say hi. Hey, that's right. So Lloyd does is... He's in his home Tuesday morning, but he does leave. <laughs> see all this? See this luggage right here? It's because he goes on business trips a lot. And he leaves on Tuesday, but I believe it's at like 9 or something like that. When most characters are, well, 
when the characters that work in the city are heading off to the city, I think that's about the time that he that he leaves on his business trip. Oi. Red hair, you know, I love you, but you drive like a truck. <laughs> Welcome, please have a seat. Yes, please, I am hungry. All right, hello. Hello, Daddy. Feel free to ask me any questions. And yet, they have nothing to eat. I'm starving. Okay, you know what? We are going to ride our horse up to the mayor's house. We are going to rush home. Get ourselves some fish paste. Come back and have some tea with our fish paste. And we will eat and our horse will eat. And I think we're going to eat outside today. It's a nice day. Go! And a nice sip of tea with our fish paste. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so four star. Oh, is that? No, that's not ready to go. Okay. So four star, we are going to turn these into seeds. And hopefully the next radish harvest, they will be at five star. But we want to head over to the grinding windmill right away. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh. Oh, Ray. Hello. <laughs> Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Is that herb salad I see? It is. So, you know what? I'm going to buy some of these. Or sherry. Thank you. I hope you like it. And we're just going to have some tea for ourselves. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you, John. Good evening, May. Oh, well, thank you. Ray, do you have siblings? I have three older brothers, two older sisters, two younger sisters, and one little bro. Yes, I know. I heard you had quite a few siblings. Right now, the hoe can do seven by one. Okay, so seven squares if we're standing. If we're jumping, it can go... It can go six by three. So you could till an entire field in three jumping shots, which is pretty nice. Um... After this, it's going to be 8x1 when standing, and 7x3 when jumping. So you can kind of see the pattern, right? At 4.5 stars, you can do a 9x1 space when you're standing, and an 8x3 when you're jumping. At 5 stars, however, it's still 9x1. I think it would technically be 10x1. But the big advantage of having 5 stars is that you can go 9x3 when jumping, so you can till the entire field in two jumping shots, which is pretty nice. But for now, I think that's going to have to be everything. Thank you for watching. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful, and I will see you later. Bye.